you know, I often hear people talk about the timing of the rut. For example, this year it's a trickle rut, they'll say, or, um, you know, the rut's going to be early this year due to moon phase or weather or whatever. The rut's going to be late. It's going to be a long, drawn-out late rut. You know, what, what really triggers the rut, and why is it so different in some areas? For example, you know, if you hunt in Alabama or Texas, um, you can see rutting activity such as bucks chasing does and scrapes and rubs and stuff like that. You'll see that in November, but the peak of the rut isn't until, you know, Christmas, and there's uh, some of the does are bred in January in the southern portions of North America in the Whitetails Range. Uh, I've got a friend that lives in Florida, and he says as soon as the velvet comes off, they start rutting, and they'll rut all through the winter until the testosterone level drops and their, uh, sh their antlers shed. So why can the rut be so long and drawn out in some areas and short in others? Um, I, I've got an opinion on this, and I think I can back it up with common sense and with science. If you think about um, the important factor of when the breeding actually takes place is when the fawns will be dropped. So, for example, let's say a doe is bred on January 10th in Texas and the fawn is born the end of July, that fawn has a pretty good chance of making it through the first winter, uh, even though it'll be very young. But if you look out the window behind me here, it's November 22nd here in Minnesota, and uh, it's snowing. Uh, tomorrow the high is going to be 13 degrees. And uh, if you look at, say, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Ontario, and some of those areas that have really good whitetail populations, imagine if the rut was in December or January there, the fawns are born the end of July, um, th those fawns are not going to make it through the first winter. So when you talk about timing of the rut, keep in mind that the farther north you are, the more compressed the rut has to be. You'll see intense rutting activity and the chasing and everything just goes crazy say for you know two to three weeks in November because almost all of the fawns uh, all of the deer are bred during that period of time so the fawns will drop in in a three week period of time uh, the end of May when they have a, a good chance of not having uh, a blizzard you know we'll 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 have a, a it's not uncommon at all here in northern Minnesota to have a blizzard in April um, if you go farther north, you can have snow in May, and those uh, fawns will have a minimal chance of survival uh, if they're born that late. So keep, it, keep that in mind that while the rut may last for two months, even though there is a, a slow peak to it, the rut, the farther north you go, the rut is a sharp peak where everything has to happen all at once. So, um, you know, it's not so much the timing of the rut as the fact that it can be much more compressed into a very short period in the north. So keep that in mind when you think about uh, rutting activity and uh, uh, it all has to do with when the fawns are going to be born.